what's up everybody welcome back it's Brandon again in today's video a bit of a sensitive topic for me it's really close to home and I'd like to think I'm a subject matter expert here but we're gonna be talking about going bald losing your hair whatever you want to call it now for those of you that don't like spoiler alerts you might want to cover your ears really quick but in case you hadn't noticed I don't really have a full head of hair anymore these days in fact it's probably been about a good 12 years since I could really say I've had a full head of hair which means no receding hairline and no thinning on top now, I don't have any bald spots just yet, but the key word there is yet. They're probably going to happen at some point. I've come to the fact and accepted that I will one day look like George Costanza. That being the case, though, I can guarantee I'm not going to try to fool anybody. I'm not going to try to grow it out for one last hurrah. You won't see me with any comb-overs. You especially won't see me with any wigs. And you definitely won't see me rocking the skullet anytime soon. But I want to talk about this subject because it's obviously something that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis as well as a lot of you guys out there, it can be pretty worrisome, especially when we've heard certain things about creatine being linked to hair loss. So that's what I want to talk about today, creatine and hair loss. Now, in order to do this, I need to give you a little bit of background, some context, just so you know what I'm talking about. I will also link the study I reference in the description box below if you're interested in looking at it. And for anything else, I really highly encourage you to go and do your own research as that's the best way to actually learn about something. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about hair loss in general. So most people understand that it's a hereditary thing, it's genetic in almost all cases, meaning it's passed down from somebody in your family, but that's where our knowledge ends for the most part. In reality, what hair loss boils down to is the way that you handle something known as DHT, or dihydrotestosterone. What this does is it affects your hair follicles by kind of stripping them from nutrients and over time this causes them to shrink up. So your hair follicles produce thinner and thinner hair to the point where they stop producing them at all. So most people associate baldness or male pattern baldness as it's commonly referred to with something known as DHT. Okay, so we got that under control. Now, the study that's most frightening to people out there with creatine was a study done on a group of rugby players over the course of several weeks. And what this study found was those using creatine had very high levels of DHT in their system. So, males who are concerned about losing their hair knowing DHT is bad, see this study and they think, oh shit, creatine causes you to have high DHT, DHT is responsible for male pattern baldness, I'ma go bald, I'm fucked. I hate creatine, I never want to take it again. And that's not necessarily the case. Again, going back to what causes male pattern baldness is how your body handles that DHT. Meaning, everybody has DHT in their system. You'll have plenty of people out there who can take creatine or have high levels of DHT in their system, yet have full, luscious, shiny, long, beautiful hair. Oh, sorry. Getting a little caught away of my jealousy and the fact that I haven't had a good head of hair in 12 years. But you'll have people who have high levels of DHT as well as can take high levels of creatine and not see any hair loss whatsoever. On the flip side, you could have someone who doesn't even lift, who has male pattern baldness in their family, like let's say for instance my brother, who has a bigger receding hairline than I do and has bald spots already, yet he's never lifted and never taken creatine before. While I, on the flip side, have taken creatine, I'd like to consider I lifted, or at least I'm thinking about it. You know, it sounds pretty interesting. You guys put out a lot of cool videos. Maybe one day I'll actually get in and try it out. But I have male pattern baldness. It runs in my family. It's going to happen regardless if I take creatine or not. And with this, it really goes on to the bigger point of this video, and that is just losing your hair in general. And I really look at losing your hair and coming to acceptance of it is kind of like the grieving process, and it's five different steps. Dude, I'm not going bald. This snapback really does look good on me. I'm not going bald. You're going bald. Dear Lord, please give my hair back. I swear I'll start going every Sunday. I won't go on browsers anymore. I stopped going on Facebook. Fuck my life. At least I still got that BBC. Now, I place people who are really concerned with creatine and hair loss in the beginning stages of this grievance process meaning they haven't really come to terms with the fact that this is just something that they can't stop. So they're looking for a reason, anything, to point out and point the figure of blame on a reason why they're losing their hair. Because it sucks. It's a really big knock to our confidence, especially for a lot of us who are involved in lifting, as it's a very aesthetic hobby that we're involved in, meaning we try to look our best. And losing your hair can definitely knock that confidence level down a peg or two. And it really is tough for some of us to kind of accept the fact that, unfortunately, this is something we just can't help. 
So I think that's going to probably be a follow-up video at some point dealing with confidence levels, whether it be you're losing your hair, you're not happy with the way your body looks, whatever it is. But the main point to take away from this video is the fact that creatine itself is not responsible for hair loss. What is, is your genes, and those are something you just can't change. So the best thing you can do is just deal with the cards that you're dealt and push on through and only worry about the things that you can control. In the long run, that's really the only thing you can do anyway, so no point in stressing out about it. Appreciate you guys watching, and as always, stay big.